Hello everyone, welcome to the Hypergamous Journey. My name is Denise. I am here to share with you my dating experiences, how I navigate dating as a mature woman. And today I would like to talk about how to boost your mood in five easy ways. The reason why I want to share this with you is because I was feeling a little down and I thought I know what to do to get myself out of this funk. The question is, am I willing to do it? And then I thought, well, if I do these five things or one of these five things, I can share them with you and it will help you. So recently, maybe, I don't know how long I've been doing this, maybe a month. A month ago, I heard a YouTuber say that I could do like 50 squats, push-ups, and sit-ups. Sit-ups, squats, and push-ups, 50 a day. And I thought, that's a lot. That is a lot to do. That is a lot to do. It's a lot to do 50 of those exercises a day. And he said that they are core exercises, core exercises. So like, you know, the stomach area, the core. Sit-ups, push-ups, and squats. And so I thought, well, I could do 50 a day if I break them up. So I put in my iPhone Every two hours, I'm to do 10 of those exercises at once. So 10 push-ups, 10 squats, 10 sit-ups at 10. 10 push-ups, 10 squats, 10 sit-ups at 12 noon. 10 push-ups, 10 squats, 10 sit-ups at 2 p.m. 10, 10, and 10 at 4 p.m. and 10, 10, and 10 at 6 p.m. and I'm done. I have done 50 for the day. So I've been doing that for about a month every day, except when I went to Durham, North Carolina. I didn't do them then and I ate whatever I wanted to eat. I'm paying for it now, but that's okay. <laughs> so yeah, so I, 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 I've been doing it and I have seen results in my arms. And I am slimming down. I have another 10 pounds to you to lose. So I may have gained about three or three or four while I was away for just like three days or four days because we ate out and that's what we did. So, so I'm back on track. So that's one thing to move. I decided to do, you know, 50 of those two core at three core exercises a day. That immediately shifts my mood. If I'm down, feeling bad, I get down on, on, on that floor, yoga mat, floor mat, and I do 10, 10, and 10, I'm good. So that's one. Two, I listen to music. I don't have a TV. I do not own a TV. I have not owned a TV since 2009 or 10. I do stream. I have one streaming service and that is Netflix. But and I look at that on my lap, on my laptop. So I do not own a TV, flat screen or anything. I owned a flat screen, a white flat screen. It was so cute. A white flat screen. 2007, 2006 but I haven't owned a TV since 2008, 2009. And I don't miss it because I go on Netflix, I watch any movies that I want and that's it. So I, I don't feel like I'm missing anything. And what was the point of that? Okay, so you move exercise. Oh, I know the point. So I listen to a lot of music. Online, um, I do, my playlists, music playlists from YouTube, and I have CDs. I know that's old and people have stuff on little 
drives and flash drives and fire sticks or whatever they use, iPods and things of that nature, but that's too much for me. <laughs> so I listen to music. And not only do I listen to music, I dance to it as well. I am listening to music while I wash dishes. I have a dishwasher, but I prefer to wash by hand because I live alone. I don't dirty up that many dishes. So I will listen to music while I'm washing dishes or cleaning, and then I'll bust a move, you know, move my hips. I had some videos where I was dancing, and then I kind of made those private because it wasn't jiving with my YouTube channel. So I love to dance. And so that's another way to boost your mood, to dance. So you're doing, we did the core exercises. It could be any kind of core exercise, but it moves your body and you have to breathe a certain kind of way. And you're like, whew, I did it. And a sense of accomplishment. So that's the first, that's one way. And it's not, these are not in any particular order. So um, doing a little bit of exercising, dancing, listening to music, and not only listening to music, but bust a move every now and then. Make sure you move your hips because that's where our feminine energy kind of lies. That's where we birth babies. That's where we carry them. And that's where we deliver them into the world in our hips. And around our shoulders, a lot of us carry tension around our, in our shoulder area. So, you know, loosen that up and then take it out to the arms and then move your head and loosen up your neck. So movement, movement, movement. And listening to music that is inspiring, not this kind of longing for love and unrequited love and love that hasn't been returned and mistreatment. Stay, try to stay away from that kind of music because it'll make you feel worse about your dating situation and things of that nature. So that's number two. I think that's number two. Move with exercising, listening to music, positive, inspiring music. Number two, three, dance. Two and three can go together, music and dance. You can just you listen to music. You can um, dance or just move around your house to imaginary tune in your head or something that won't leave your mind. You can dance around to that. And um, number four is get these affirmation journals from Amazon under the hypergamous journey. This one says paint my world in color. It's nail polish in red. And then I have others like hello gorgeous. And just these affirmations are just lined pages where you get to free form write. You write in your own date and you just write, write to your heart's content about any subject. You can use them for planning purposes, planning your business. I have them in all kinds of sizes. This is one size, six by nine, and then this is eight by eight by 10 back there. Write, journal, get it all out. Cry, cry to your heart's content. You can write to your heart's content. That helps you um, process. And then you get to see in color, in black and white, what you're thinking, what you're feeling, and making connections between what you're feeling now, how things, the connection between what you're feeling now and what happened in your childhood or in your past. You write down relationships and patterns that you see in your dating, in your family relationships, in your um, friendships, at work, you're between you and your supervisor, between you and your man, you and your husband, you and your children, you get to see in black and white how you show up in your relationships or and or what you want to change about how you show up in your relationships. I like to um, star certain, certain epiphanies that I have or aha moments so that when I go back, they'll stand out and I can reread those, those particular journal entries. And so that's the fourth thing. And so the fifth thing is 
to call someone, to call a trusted friend that you can say to, I'm not feeling so good. And the reason why I'm not feeling good is because of this. This is what I'm thinking. And this is how I'm feeling about what I'm thinking. A lot of times we fall into bad moods. Well, I think all the times that we fall into bad moods is because of our thoughts. We're comparing ourselves to other people, our friends, family, people we see on social media, on TV, or wherever. You know, they always seem to have a better life than what we have. They all they all seem to have better relationships with their family and friends and partners, romantic partners than we have. They have a romantic partner and we don't. But the thing that we're missing is the fact that we don't know how these people live their lives for real, for real. <laughs> we don't know how these people live their lives for real, for real. And we might have better lives than they do. We don't know. But the key is to think positive thoughts about your own life and the life that you're creating for yourself. Because the truth is, whatever life you have today, you created it. <laughs> whatever life you have today, you created it. What life I have today, I created it. I'm single because of the decisions that I made. I have no children because of decisions that I made. And I've made peace with those decisions. What can I do? I did a post yesterday or today that said the good thing about being in your 60s is that you no longer have anything to prove. Amy Grant, multiple winning Grammy winner, Amy Grant, age 62. I believe she's 62. I remember Amy Grant when I was a kid, like in my 20s, and she came on the scene. Now, I'm not sure if Amy Grant did uh, spirituals or gospel tunes, but I remember her name. She's not really somebody I follow, but I remember her coming on the scene and it being a big whoop de doo So I think that's all I have to say about the five ways that you can boost your, your mood immediately. This doesn't have to be a long drawn out thing in the next hour. It's like immediately. So if you're feeling bad at this very moment, you do one of these five things and you're going to snap out of it just like that. And your life is going to look a whole lot better than it did five minutes ago. I repeat, I'm going to summarize. Number one, you can do some exercises. It can be 10 jumping jacks, 10 sit-ups, 10 push-ups, whatever it is, whatever you can muster, do a couple of them. That's number one. Number two, listen to music. Positive, uplifting music will get you out of that mood. And if it's um, inspirational music, gospel music, any pop that's uplifting, you will become grateful almost immediately. You will become grateful. I forgot prayer, so that's number six. Pray. While I am listening to uplifting music or just moving my hips to music, I might break out in a good old cry of gratitude. I'm not crying because my life is like, oh, Lord, the ho-hum drum and down in the dumps. I am crying and praying because I am so grateful and so happy. I've come a long way. Everybody has their own journey and know how long they've, how far they've come. Okay, so I might do this. And so the third one is, is um, this, the first one is exercise. The second one is music. The third one is movement, moving your hips, going down into that second chakra and moving, moving and moving. You'll feel good about that. So that's number three. And number four is journal writing, writing down your thoughts, your feelings, making connections between what you're feeling now and what you were thinking that caused you to think these negative thoughts and your behaviors, seeing the connection between your behaviors today and your, the trauma or triggers that you experienced as a child. Because most of our stuff come from being from a, for us as children. That's where our traumas originate. And our parents did the best they could. We love them and we forgive them, right? And we forgive ourselves. The fifth one, I can't remember. I didn't write it down. Um, dancing. Oh, calling your friend. 
and talking and just saying, you know, I just need to, for you to listen. Um, and maybe you can give me your thought and opinion, but only if I ask. I have my best friend, we're like that. If she just wants me to listen, she'll say, I just need you to listen. And then if she wants me to say something, she'll say, what do you think or what's your opinion? And then the sixth one was pray. And prayer and thanksgiving. Prayer and thanksgiving. Thanking God for seeing you through or your higher power or whatever you call the being higher than yourself thanking that entity from bringing you from point a to point b c d and e in all the long and all along the way and crying to get out the negativity the negative toxins in the body that the negative thoughts create and just cry praise and thanksgiving, thanking God for bringing you through. So that is it for me. Don't forget to like this video, share, click on the notification bell, and check out the affirmation journals on Amazon. I have merch in um, at the bottom of this video, check it out. And if you would like the free dating guide, Email me at the hypergamousjourney at gmail.com and I will send that to you. If you need hand holding someone to be your accountability partner in this dating landscape, email me at the hypergamousjourney at gmail.com and we can talk about what you need and how I can be of assistance to you. And there's one more thing, but I can't remember what it is. Oh, well, that's it for me and I will see you in the next video. Bye.